I believe in calling people out. I believe in calling out the people who caused the problems. But guess what? I'm calling everybody out because we created this damn problem. Now, I ain't got no idea how to fix this Chinese virus. Yes, I said Chinese virus. You know why it's called a Chinese virus? Because it comes from China. Okay? <laughs> like my boy Don said, me and his on first name basis, in case y'all didn't know. Anyway, so this is what happened. Now, the virus is done spread all over America. I know y'all tired of hearing about it, but y'all need to hear this shit here. Look here. We done created this problem because we, as a whole community, society, Americanism, all of us, we have done got lazy and we have started relying on the people who we don't need to be relying on. Think back about 10, 15 years ago. There was mom and pop stores all over this nation. All over. You can go down there to the bakery. You can, hey, can I get a loaf of bread? you damn right i get you a loaf of bread. Give me about 15 minutes. Let me, let me whip you one up real quick and put the slices on it. You can go down there to the butcher. Can I get three sirloins and a, and, a, and, a, and a rump roast? Hell yeah. Give me about a day or so. Come back tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Pick up your meat. That is the type of things that we used to do. Now, Fast forward 15 years, the world is so damn fast now, nobody, everybody's worried about you know who's got the tightest skinny jeans on and the newest Jordans and all this other type of shit, and we done lost track of what's really damn important. Local businesses would have saved our absolute ass in this crisis right now. They would have completely bailed everybody out because yeah, there's plenty of bread out there, but it ain't doing me no damn good sitting in a damn warehouse somewhere up in Lincoln, Nebraska at the Walmart Supercenter storage thing it ain't doing me no bit of good because it being up there is keeping me from having a blown sandwich with mayo and tomato it ain't, but i could have if we if we as a whole would have just kept on supporting the local businesses yeah it was going to cost me a dollar more a loaf of bread but right now i would pay ten dollars more for a loaf of bread right now because they ain't none same thing with the butchers if we by some miracle make it through this whole pandemic and survive this shit without going into zombie land three i'm gonna tell y'all what i'm gonna do i'm vowing it right now i am gonna start supporting local businesses even more than i do now which i already do but not to the point that i can i'm gonna do the best of my ability to kind of feather away from the main like like the, the your, your big ones your walmart your kroger's your sam's your, is kmart still a thing or do we put them out of business too anyway i'm gonna do my best to stay away from them and i'm really gonna start uh supporting the mom and pop stores again just in case this may happen again maybe we can make a, a, a nationwide comeback where maybe in each town if something like this was to happen and we go into a statewide lockdown like we're fitting to go in right now because it's fitting to happen if we do that maybe these little mom and pop stores will be able to save our ass so this is my public service announcement it is brought to you by zach rush and his damn self and i support all of what i just said and i approve this message you need to support your local businesses because right now you Oh, this is worse than water world with paper. I'd do some weird shit for a Klondike bar, but I'd do some nasty shit for a damn loaf of bread right now. <laughs> shit.